What is up, everybody? Welcome back to hey. DMC Live. You guys can hear me okay, right? My mic was all jacked off a yeah. little bit earlier. Yeah, we can hear for you now. Man. For now, we can. For now. My camera was cutting out, whatever. But anyhow, got a new PC. Hopefully, this uh, SOB is a little quicker than my laptop. Um, good laptop, but it's just not quick enough for what we do here at the crew and doing YouTube Live and stuff like that. So... But anyhow, guys, uh, great weekend. I got a lot of flavor testing in. Uh, we are also going to be talking about the milk challenge, man. That's great. We had a lot of recipe submissions this month, which is awesome. I know Folk Art had mixed up a lot of them. There was a few that I didn't have flavors for, especially uh, Chemo's recipe. I think he used all vape train. Whatever, dude. Thanks, Chemo. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> I don't have any baking flavor, but whatever. But anyhow, I'll try he to. Could, get... he, could, he could be. He could be a pal and send some vape train flavors to us. That'd be nice. to mix, yeah. To, maybe... to make to mix his recipe. Yeah, maybe he could <laughs> come our way. But yeah, make sure you check out the um, uh, in the comments. Make sure you check out all the discount codes that uh, that are uh, sponsors for us at uh, DIY Mixers Crew. You get 15% off of um, Liquid Barn. You get $50 free domestic shipping. Um, that's one of the things that I've noticed also uh, for you guys out there. It's uh, domestic. It's free shipping. I think you have to contact them if you want international shipping on stuff. Uh, DMC6 for Bull City Flavors. You get 75 bucks. You get free shipping off of that. Um, so anyhow, real quick before we begin, though, um, starting Saturday mornings, um, with my workload during the week, it's very difficult for me to get a lot of my mixing done. I usually try to get some. I sneak it in in the evenings when I can. Um, but Saturday and Sunday mornings is when I get the bulk of my workload done for the week. So um, I'm going to be doing like a like like quick recipes and flavor testing and stuff like that on Saturday mornings on our Facebook page. So make sure you check that out. It's only going to be probably like maybe a 10 to 15 minute segment in the morning. Um, basically also it's, it's going to try to free up um, some of the time um, on our channel here uh, because, you know, with our growing audience and stuff like that and our subscribers, you know, we really don't want to keep you guys for three hours at a time, like every Sunday. I know it's, you know, it's, it, it's bad enough that you got to put up with me talking my head off for <laughs> hours every week. But, um, you know, I had to support my boys, though, Steelers, even though they didn't make it to the Super Bowl. Go Philly. You know what I mean? 
Yeah. Screw the Patriots. We'll probably lose about 100 people in the chat right now because they <laughs> Patriots. But, um, yeah, whatever. Yeah. We won't talk about football. We hear about mixing. But anyhow, Milk Challenge, how's everybody's week? What's going on? It's been pretty good for me, man. Just uh, mixing up a bunch of recipes and uh, working on this milk recipe that I was trying to come up with. And I'm still not too satisfied with it. I'm going to. I'm gonna show it today, but I'm not gonna make it public because it's not it's not ready yet. You talking about your milk? Yeah. yeah, yeah, mine as well. I don't mean to cut you off, but mine as well. I was working on a cereal uh, utilizing Bickford flavors. Mm -hmm. um, I had three renditions: recipe one, two, and three. Um, and then my nephew, he was out of freaking juice, so I told him he got a new job, so he's working these goofy hours. I said, "Yeah, just stop by, grab whatever off the table." So. The son of a bitch grabs my goddamn <laughs> fucking cereal vapes that I was making. So I'm like, okay. So now I got to remix those. So that's out the window. So I just resubmitted my uh, melon milk from uh, last year. I think I made that. But go ahead, Fulcourt. Yeah. So you didn't you didn't end up finishing yours either. Well, I mean, it's I was wanting to do more with it, uh, and we we could talk about it later. But it's just it's just a plain uh, milk. It's just a milk, just milk. In fact, that's what I named it, just milk. <laughs> like, a, like a sugar milk or just like it's uh, just open the fridge up like a swig of milk type it's of a, it's a it's 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 like it's like a milk. <laughs> yeah. It's just it's like a milk that oh. might be left over in the bottom of a cereal it's bowl. Milk. Just milk milk. It's just, just milk. Just milk. <laughs> just milk. No, I, I I wanted I wanted to to come up with Kind of like a stone. <laughs> Stop making fun of my I'm milk. Sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't stop laughing. Go ahead. It's just fucking go milk. Ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, oh, go uh, ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I, I just I, I wanted to create a milk that you could that somebody could use as a stone, kind of. So you could basically put. <laughs> any kind of fruit you could you could put it you could put some cereal in there you could put maybe some sliced bananas in there and make it a, a nice uh, cereal uh it's just it's just milk man <laughs> hey that's a good eye milk milk man there you go <laughs> you gotta be fucking crying bro. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why it's so funny it was just fucking hilarious he's like it's just a milk <laughs> whatever <laughs> I took I took okay. the challenge I took the challenge literally I said make a milk recipe my God I made a milk recipe <laughs> <laughs> okay I gotta stop okay Just, go ahead go ahead, go ahead. Uh, but uh, yeah I, I mixed <laughs> I mixed up um, I think it's about seven let's see about six of the recipes. Uh, there was a couple that I didn't have, um, uh, the ingredients for Kimo. Um, and if Theo is watching, Hey, you can throw me some love this way for that vape train, those va vape train flavors. But, uh, yeah, I, I mixed up those. I spent a couple of days doing those and, uh, yeah, that's, that's about it. That's about it. You want to go ahead and talk about them? I guess, I guess so. The recipe? Yeah, we could talk about the recipes. I mean, I really don't want to talk about mine. I mean, it was a basically, um, real quick, it was like an old school like type of stone um, to get that, like you were talking about, the bottom of the milk type of taste yeah. with the sweetness. I utilized some um, TFA banana cream. Um, I was playing with Bickford's um, fruit circles or fruit rings, whatever they call it, um, weak flavor. I mean, I had to bump that stuff up to maybe five, maybe five and a half, six percent. Um, and then I utilized a couple other things like Flavor West. Um, what the hell is it? The nut, hazelnut. Um, I, I don't have the recipe in front of me, but there was a bunch of stuff in there. Um, I had like two or three different, three actually total mixes. And then uh, my nephew took them, but I wasn't getting that that uh lemon note and that's a good thing though about the bickford flavor you really don't get that pledge with okay i think i think we're back up now no, we're back up yeah we're back up 
Okay. Sorry, sorry, so, about, sorry, that. sorry about that, guys. I had to switch my uh, internet connections there. We were lagging some, so hopefully we won't have any problems now. So, so folk art, let's talk about these um, milk challenge recipes. Okay. All right. Let's start with... Um, well, let's see what we got here. Uh, let's start with... Um, Let's start with uh, can do, can do milk. Let's see, that was by Rudy Roo. I'm sorry, Rude Rudy. Can y'all hear me? Yep. Love okay. Clear. Uh, actually, I think I wasn't able to mix that one up because I didn't. I couldn't find the. Uh, let me see if I can share this right quick. I couldn't find the uh, Flavor West cantaloupe. So this this is the one of the ones that I could not mix up, but it looks it looks pretty pretty tasty. Um, guys, go out there and, and mix it up and comment on it, rate it. So let's go to the next one here, one that I did mix up. Okay, this is uh, chocolate quick. Oh, this is another one that I didn't mix up. This was from Kimo, the uh, chocolate quick. And it uses all vape train flavorings, which I do not have. I'm sorry, Kimo. I apologize. But tell Theo to send me some, and I'll mix it up. <laughs> okay, so let's go to the next one here. Uh, Milky Peach. This is by EBC1988. And it is a peaches and cream recipe. Pretty tasty. Uh, it's got 0.5% uh, F.A. Apricot, 0.75% FA Cream Fresh, 2.5% one-on-one creamy milky undertone PG, has 3% Cap Juicy Peach, 0.4% Inawara Shisha Vanilla, and 2.5% Cap Yellow Peach. Let's see, uh, where is it at? Milky Peach. You see, you mix I mix that up. Yep, I okay. mixed mixed it up here, and uh, it's gonna take a vape of it right quick. I've, awesome. I've, I've I've already I've already vaped some of these. Um, actually, I vaped all of them, but just to kind of refresh my memory here. As I recall, this was a pretty good recipe. So yeah. It's got a nice, uh, it's got a nice milky, milky undertone uh, note to it. The, uh, the the apricot is really coming out at at 0.5 percent with uh, paired with the peaches. Um, I I feel like that it, if if he was to maybe drop down the peaches just a little bit, I'm, I'm getting a little bit of a floral note from it. Which peach was that? The cap or the uh, um, yellow? Or the juicy peach. Well, I I had never tried the uh, cap yellow peach until this recipe, so I'm not too familiar with with that one. The cap juicy peach um, is is a is a pretty good peach. Uh, it just it, it seems like the peaches are just a little bit over flavored. So I'm getting some of that floral. If if he would maybe bring those down just a little bit, I, I think it would be. Uh, you, you could get a, a brighter, um, a brighter uh, flavor from it, and and lose some of that floral note. But it's it's a pretty good recipe. Pretty good recipe. Good job, EBC 1988. All right, moving on into the next one. So uh, here is one by one of our own, Daddy Kane 91. This is a, um, a coconut milk that he did. Yeah, it looks good. You want to talk about it, Russell? No, I'll let you talk about it. No, oh, my, no. Uh, um, oh, come on. No, guys. No, for real. On the real, um, I was just really looking for a really simple, a simple little recipe. You know, not a whole lot of flavors. Um, I did talk with Folk Art on the back end of it after he mixed it. 
and uh, we both kind of had the same general feeling about the uh, F.A. Cocoa that was in it, the Cocoa Coconut. Yeah. And so uh, I went back in this morning and mixed that back up again and dropped that out, and uh, it tastes a lot better. I'm not getting that suntan, that suntan-y thing that was going on with it before. I was hoping it was going to steep out. Um. So... So yeah. did so did did you take that out of the recipe? I did. Okay, so I did. so I'm I'm showing his recipe that he took out the fa uh, cocoa, which is fa coconut. So he, it's it's not showing it in there. But what I have felt, a link for it, Russ. Um, did you did you repost it or anything or? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I reposted it this morning. Oh, I, okay. I I just fixed it, so it shouldn't have changed. Oh, all, okay. I did, all I did was drop the uh, F.A. coconut. I didn't uh, repost as a new recipe. Yeah, it, okay. it's it, it's showing it without the F.A. Uh, coconut in it. What I'm showing here. So in, anyway, uh, let's let's take a vape vape off of it. Now, as I remember, this was pretty damn good. <clears throat> yeah, I'm I'm sitting there vaping the new one right now. Mm-hmm. So yeah, this is a a nice creamy coconut milk. What more can you say? I mean, it's just it's really that uh, flavora sweet coconut is a awesome flavor. Yep. Um, it's just a nice creamy coconut milk. Perfect. Uh, this this the one that I'm vaping does have the fa coconut in it, and I get an ever so slight touch of floral from it. Yeah, so, it's got a little, it, it almost, it, I'm telling you, it reminds me of going into a suntan booth, you know, um, where you get that smell, that, 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 that coconut floral smell in the coconut booth, or in a suntan booth, huh. but with the flavora alone, it's not, I'm not, I'm not seeing that, feeling that at all. Man. So Yeah, and I, I don't really, t you know, some, some people taste uh, suntan lotion in, in some of the coconuts. This does not taste like that to me. Um but it does it you know with that fa with that fa uh, coconut out uh it probably allows that flavor co sweet coconut to come through better but it just it's a really good really good solid uh coconut milk guys go check it out it's it's really good mix it up okay congrats right so let's go Thanks, to the folks. next Thanks, one Lewis. here let's see let's go with uh Okay, so I have two recipes from um, Dank One. That's Aaron Arendt. He uh, he had two milk recipes. The first one is going to be uh, caramel. You see, I mixed it up here. Caramel. <clears throat> Let's look at the percentages here. So he's got uh, one percent Bavarian cream cap. It's got 3% uh, DX milk TPA, which I did not have the DX milk. I just used regular milk dairy t TPA. Um, I, I don't think it would change it all that much. So that's that's what I used. Uh, he's got 0.33% uh, Hazel Grove FA. He's got 3% salted caramel flavor west. He's got a half a percent of uh, Cap Super Sweet. 2% vanilla swirl TPA and 3.5 percent white chocolate tpa so the last time we featured one of uh aaron's recipes i think his was like one of the favorites that i tried this one i i think that Aaron, aaron's won the, the the fifth challenge yeah he did he did in in my opinion i thought i thought his his was the best this one i think needs a, a little bit more work Uh, and I'm not I'm not sure what's what's causing it, but I'm getting a slight off note in the flavor. It it may be coming from the salted caramel, the flavor west at at three percent. I'm not sure. I'm I'm not getting much white chocolate from this at all. What what kind of off note are you getting? You think? 
uh it's a it's a earthy earthy kind of flavor from it uh kind of a dirt earthy. kind of yeah kind of a dirt taste to it um it's possible it could be can, the can you can you can you read the ingredients again please yes it's a bavarian cream cap at one percent d uh uh, TPA milk at 3%, hazel grove, hazelnut, FA, 0.33%, salted caramel flavor west at 3%, super sweet cap, uh, 5%, uh, 0.5%, vanilla swirl TPA, 2%, and white chocolate TPA at 3.5%. So I, I, I don't I don't know where the earthiness is, is really coming from, but it's, it's possible it could be either the, uh, the hazel grove, or the uh, salted caramel, but I mean it's it's a it's a good vape. It's it's not bad. It's just I'm I'm getting some earth earth tones from it. That's not not that great, but that's just my opinion, guys. Take it take it for whatever you whatever you want. Okay, so let's move on to the next one then. Um, this is another one from. Dank one, Aaron, Aaron, and this is Blue Cow. Blue Cow. So the profile on this is a uh, a blueberry milk. <clears throat> and we just give it a draw here. <clears throat> Let me read off the uh, ingredients here. He has seven uh, percent flavor west blueberry. Uh, TPA sweetener at one point seven five. Vanilla bean ice cream TPA at four percent. Vanilla swirl TPA at one point five percent. Vienna cream FA at point seven five percent. Now, when when I saw the, the, this recipe, the first thing that popped in my mind was seven percent blueberry. Uh, I don't know about this. Um, so let's let's take a draw off of it. Yeah, on on that last recipe, uh, uh, JFM Development says the Hazel Grove has some earthy tones to it. That's probably where that's coming from. Okay. So uh, the the blue cow that Aaron Aaron mixed up, it's 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 pr it's pretty good. Um, I think that he would have more vibrancy out of the blueberries if he would probably cut that blueberry almost by half. That that just seems like too too much to me because I'm getting a floral note from it. What, which blueberry did you use again? Flavor West. Flavor blueberry. West. Yeah. 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 Seven seven percent is just I think I think it's just too much. I, I think it would be a more vibrant blueberry if he cut that to about half. But other than that, it's it's pretty good. What about maybe incorporating like cut if he wants to go like if he's trying to go for like a blueberry forward, maybe cut it through mm. and then maybe throw some uh flavor art bilberry in there maybe at like maybe one one percent, maybe cut it down to like yeah, four percent. Maybe throw maybe like one percent, one and a quarter percent of um possibly, possibly. Whatever. You know, you know this uh my my, my idea, and I, I don't know his <clears throat> thoughts that that but went behind this this recipe, but probably what happened was he wasn't getting enough of that blueberry up front, and he thought, well, let's just crank that blueberry up, and that's something that um now. I think Aaron Aaron has been mixing for quite some time now, but that's one thing that new mixers uh, kind of fall into is that if they don't taste a certain flavoring that's that they feel like is, is, is enough, they'll increase that flavoring to try to get more flavoring. And when you do that, you're just over flavoring. And I, I, th I think that's probably the trap that he, he may have fell into there on, on the blueberry. Well, uh, I believe he's in the chat. Is he? Yeah, I thought I saw Aaron in here. Are you in here, Aaron? <laughs> I thought I saw him in here early on. But yeah, it's just uh, that blueberry is just like uh, 
when when I first vaped this, uh, I, I put it on there, and then I cleared it off with some VG. And when I when I diluted it with VG, I could taste that blueberry so much better than I could uh, than the original recipe. Just just toning that blueberry down, you know, cutting it by about half. I, I think you'll get a better better blueberry out of it. Okay. Anyway, good job. Good job. Yeah, if you guys have any questions, make sure you tag us at DIY Mixer Screw or DMC. That way yeah. we know you guys are asking us any questions. Yes. He says, Aaron, Aaron, I see him in the chat. He says, yes, I guess it's too high. You know what I mean? I'll yeah. have to give it a try. It's it's yeah. muting. Digital Graham says it's muting the uh, blueberry. So, yeah. We added more. But I yeah. think I, I think that if he just cuts in half, you get a much brighter, vivid blueberry. Uh, I think that's all you have to do on this recipe, and it'll turn out fantastic. As, as far as muting, I didn't see it. Did he add any sweetener in there? Yes, 1.7% yeah. sweetener. That could yeah. be a call with the um em in there it made a might have um muted some of that uh blueberry gram i'm sure you know that anyway but yeah possibly possibly but other than possibly. that it's a it's it's a it's a good recipe okay so let's let's talk about just fucking milk milk okay yeah so just just milk that's it that's that's, 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 all, that's all you're getting in this and i'm not going to vape it because I already know is what it, it tastes co- like. Is it, is it cow's milk? No. Goat no. milk. Goat milk. It's just milk. It's just milk. It's milk. So I'm... Just fucking milk. So I'm... Just fucking milk. Okay, so I'm using uh, 1% Wonder Flavors Macadamia Nut. I love that flavor. It's an awesome flavor. It adds a creaminess to it, a little, a little bit of a, a nutty uh, macadamia nut to it. It's just, it's really good. I used uh, 2% TPA meringue, 0.5% of Cap Super Sweet, and 2% of Liquid Barn Vanilla Bean Ice Cream. It's a great base if you want to throw some fruit at it, cereal, whatever. Just uh, try it out. I'm not going to make it public yet because I don't feel like it's quite finished yet, but uh, if somebody wants to wants to take it down, jot it down and try it out, try some, some fruits with it, you know, give it a try. It's a, it's a pretty good milk. That sounds good. Pretty good milk. Okay. I think I have one more. Um, let's see if I can find it here. This, this to me is the winner of the DMC milk challenge. And it is by none other than Lauder. Woohoo! Luard. 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 Lewis. I thought you were a doctor. I just seen D R at the end. No, if if I if I were a doctor, it would come in the beginning. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, guys, uh guys in in the chat, if 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 you if you hear me talking about a, a recipe that I don't particularly like or try to make suggestions don't 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 think that i'm putting it down I, i'm really not because i i enjoy mixing any kind of recipe um trying it out i just i just want it to be the best recipe possible so and it's just my opinion too somebody may love it somebody else may love it it's just it's just my suggestions to some of the recipes so uh aaron uh you know you, you've done some great recipes and i don't i don't want to knock your recipe any i just want to help you okay so this one is by Lewis called Queen Catherine. Now, this recipe really threw me for a loop. Um, he, uh, he uses some pretty interesting ingredients in this. Let me read them off to you. So he's using uh, 1% F.A. bergamot, using 1% TPA dairy milk, 1% TPA dragon fruit, 0.75% TPA honeysuckle, and 1.5% FA black uh, tea, black water soluble. So this was uh, I have I have never vaped tea vapes at all. This, this is my first one. And when I saw the recipe, it's like, mm, this is gonna be nasty. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it, I was shocked. I was really shocked. Uh, yeah, uh, Daniel, you were quite welcome. I was, I was glad to mix your recipe up there. Um, 
I thought it was I thought it was pretty good. Maybe uh maybe just a little more tweaking on the peaches. Um but yeah, good recipe. Okay, so this this one really did throw me for a loop. This has a very very unusual flavor. Now this was a milk challenge. And to me, yeah, he he has milk in there, but this is not a quote milk recipe. <clears throat> I mean, it's just, in my opinion, this recipe is a work of art. To be able to take uh, bergamot, dragon fruit, and honeysuckle and make a delicious vape is, is just shocking to me. Um, but I get that underlying tea flavor kind of at the, at the back of the vape. The, uh, the bergamot and the honeysuckle just make it a, it makes it a bright um a bright kind of a tea, almost a lemony kind of tea, but in a in kind of different way. It's uh, the dairy milk. You can definitely taste the dairy milk in there. It's just a, it's a very unusual vape. I, I, I implore everybody to go to this recipe, mix it up, and tell me what you think about it. Because it's just, every single layer in it you can taste. It's just a, it's just a work of art in my opinion. I, it's hard. It's hard. It's hard for me to describe the flavor of it. But it's just, it's just an awesome. It's it's a it's a. It's just so complex that it's hard for me to to describe it. It's just a nice bright tea with uh, a splash of milk in it. So I think it I think it wins this just for ingenuity if nothing else, but it also has that wonderful flavor to it. So guys, go check it out. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm speechless. So real quick, what made you decide to, um, to, to do this type of recipe? Like with the, it seems like one of the, like a, like a, took a lot of thought to come up with this. What, what, yeah. um, what, what like ran through your mind on this, bro? <clears throat> Uh, this is the profile that I, I have been thinking for quite a while. I intended to do a tea with, uh, with some floral and some citric based on the background. And at the Milk Challenge, I thought of the, how the British drink tea, that they drink it with some milk. And I tried, and it turned out good. Honestly, honestly, I don't think it's one of my best recipes, but I'm thankful that, that uh, Steve likes it so much. I love it. I love it. Yeah, it, it, you definitely get uh, that lemony kind of feel from it, but without lemon. I, I suppose that's coming from, yes, the, honey, because from the honeysuckle. The, the, no, it's coming from the bergamot. Okay. That's why the, I do I, mm, I was used bergamot because I, I uh, bergamot is not a lemon. It's not an orange. It's some something in between an orange and a lemon. Mm -hmm. And I think it's uh, on spot on on, on 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 what I wanted to mix with the tea because yeah. I didn't want a lemon and I didn't want an orange, but I wanted some citric a citric accent and ber uh, flavor arts uh, bergamot. I think uh, it's perfect for for that. Yeah, it's a it's a really awesome recipe. Everybody needs to go check it out. Rate it, comment okay, on it. Thank you. Yep. It's all yours, Dave. I'm oh, done. Stop. Stop. You know I hate talking. Anyhow. <laughs> so what about like real quick, guys? I don't know if you were catching up on some of the vape news in the past couple of days. I mean, there was some bullshit out there about guys in the military that were uh, vaping CBD oils, I think it was. Mm -hmm. And then there was a report of two of them dying. But then the freaking news came back and they yeah. said, oh, uh, yeah, we got to fix that. It's They didn't die. They were just in the hospital. Um, they, You know, this, that, and the other. Um, you know, I call bullshit on that. I don't know if it's a cover-up or whatever. They were just talking shit, I guess, on uh, CBD oil. 
out there in the news. But what I wanted to touch on real quick um, was this freaking idiot. I mean, it's just a, a an idiot, idiot out there. I don't know if you want me to screen share this or if you have the link for it. I've got it. I've got it. It was out. reported. It was reported. There was a guy out there. Okay, guys. And what was it? A uh, let me pull. Let me see if I can pull up the 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 clip on my end just to reread it. It was up in like the guy Minnesota says. Somewhere, right? guy says Wisconsin. I've, yeah, the guy says I've done it. I've done it before. R- racing, racing father accused of dropping vaping liquid into nine week old baby's mouth. Like really? Like yeah. are you that freaking stupid? Yeah. Like yeah, it's it's like I'm 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 looking at it right now. And so basically it says, yeah, I've done it before. It's a father of accused of dropping vaping liquid into a nine week old baby's mouth. Okay. Now, basically, I mean, I'm not going to read through the whole thing, but it was saying that he was accused of child abuse after prosecutor said he dropped vaping liquid into the mouth of a nine week old baby. Um, the dude is name his name's Dustin Appenzeller. He's 30 years old. He faces one count of physical abuse of a child and intentionally harming and causing bodily bodily harm. Now, I read through this article, guys. You could see it up there. Maybe folk art can maybe post a link in the chat. Um, but basically, what ended up happening is, I guess, like it was. I don't know if it was in the morning or later in the evening. His wife told him to go get the baby a bottle, I guess, because it, it was feeding time. She ended up went to the bathroom. She comes out of the bathroom and she sees her idiot husband or boyfriend or whoever it was dropping e liquid into the baby's mouth. And she goes, "What the hell are you doing?" The baby started foaming at the mouth. They had to call 911. They took the baby to the hospital. I, 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 hopefully the infant's okay. Um, but it says Appenzeller made his initial appearance in court um, on February 1st. His cash bond was set at 5000 It should have been a fucking million. Um, and his preliminary hearing is scheduled for February 8th. I, you know, I hope for, hopefully this idiot fries for this. Um, I, I don't know what was running through this guy's mind. Maybe he was just like fucking mental or something like that. But for any of you guys that have kids out there in the chat or whatever, or or, or nieces or nephews that are young, it's like, what would cause somebody to do something like that? And it's one of those things where it just, it it, it just puts, it it gives vaping a bad name again. You know, we we get all this (coughs) bullshit that comes out and, you know, it's just another strike against, you know, vaping. You know, and it, it's 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 just sad that this man would do something like that to a to a nine week old baby. You know what I mean in his crib. Yeah, you know, he's... what are your thoughts on it, Folkart or Lewis or Russ or? Well, you know, my thoughts is there's idiots everywhere. So yeah, there is, yeah. there is, you know. Yeah. But um, just just more fuel for the fire, say, man. For, uh, before something like this. That's yeah, just fuel for the fire, man. Just more shit to add on to the shit that's already going on with the big industry. Yeah. 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 So, so real quick, um, before we get out of here, um, I wasn't going to do any mixing today, but I, I might throw something on the pot. We still got about 20 minutes or so before we leave out of here. I actually um, was checking out, uh, I'm going to surprise you here, Russell. I was checking out your apple bomb or apple bum recipe that you had going uh-huh. on. Looks interesting. Tastes awesome. Yeah, I was trolling. Like I said, I, I guys, I usually uh, do a lot of trolling on ATF and on Saturday mornings. I seen uh, 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 Russell actually posted it in our Discord earlier uh, this weekend, or fr- was it Friday or Saturday? And um, I didn't get a chance to mix it yet, but I'm, I want to mix it because I enjoy Apple vapes. And real quick though. Um, speaking of Apple vapes, um, that's going to be our next month's challenge, I believe, right, Folk Art? Yeah, I, th- I think that's what we agreed on. Apples? Uh, yeah, we, we talked a little bit about it on uh, Back to Basics Wednesday, and we thought, why not just make it Apple this uh, this February? So, w- real quick, uh, Sub Vape says, uh, the milk challenge, uh, could you talk about papaya TPA? Um, are you... Are you, are you talking about like the, the profile itself lewis i know you have some um 
experience. Never tried it. Okay. Papaya TPI, no, never tried it. Sorry. No? I haven't no. either. No. Sorry. Uh, I wish I could help sub vapes, but I've never tried it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not a real fruit guy. I've been trying to experiment with them more lately. Um, I'm diving into them. So, you know, hopefully soon, you know, we'll be able to get um, some more fruit vapes. That's the problem with DMC. We all kind of share the same palettes. That's why we work so well together. I've I've been working on a uh, uh, like a tropical fruit punch recipe. I don't have a name for it yet, but it's it's pretty good. I'm gonna be releasing it probably in the spring. Uh, you know when it starts getting warmer weather and stuff. But I'm I'm you know I'm a bakery's guy too mostly, but uh, I want to try to branch out as well. And that's why I'm trying to work with more fruits and things. Get something out there new. You now, fruity drinks. Fruity why drinks. Not? Yep. Yep. Sometimes, yeah, you, sometimes you just get tired of bakeries. You know, you just like, you, you need to change, you know. I'm, I'm going, I'm going to do some. Um, but I miss your cookies. Cookie? I miss uh, Steve's cookie. <laughs> 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 well just uh j just throw some uh uh cap sugar cookie in that just milk and you got your cookies and milk there, there you go how's that cookies and milk yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can pretty much throw anything at it yeah you could you could actually and i i did actually mix up a, a strawberry with it uh but like i say it's, it's not it's not finished yet i'll release it soon <clears throat> All right, so real quick, um, DK ninety one. So let's talk about this uh, apple apple bomb recipe you got going on here. Oh, is he muted? What's the deal? No, yeah. right. I'm here. Let's <clears throat> let's talk about that recipe, bro. Which one do? Anything and everything. I'm gonna mix it up right now and give you my thoughts on it. Where did your uh, 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 what was your th thought process when you uh, created it? Well, I really didn't have a thought process in it. I was just kind of, you know, you guys were talking about apples last week, and I was looking around at that FOB and I saw the apple pie filling, and so I, I hand checked it, and it was pretty damn awesome on the hand check. So I was like, hmm. So I know I threw some stuff out there in the. Uh, out there in the chat about it, you know, and uh, said, you know, this make a really good apple pie, you know, this, this filling, you know, so I, should, I tried to build a pie around that. And I know there's a bunch of pies out there already, but um, I really haven't had that much uh, success with apples, you know, and so I went ahead and tried this out. And like I said, that, that, that Favora apple pie is just, that pie filling is just awesome. Uh, they they nailed it on that one. Now it's it's pretty heavy on the cinnamon, right? Yeah, I mean on 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 straight up it is, but you know I've let it. I, I've got this huge ass bottle of this stuff, and I've been vaping this every day, you know. And it seems like it, the, the cinnamon's starting to it's, it's toning down every day a little bit. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Um. So. It kind of works, you know. What I'm saying on, on the shake, it's it's real heavy for you know the cinnamon is really forward on it on the shake. But mm -hmm. as the days have been progressing through, you know that cinnamon is starting to mellow out a little bit and meld in there with the sweetness and and the apples, and you can still taste that. You know, I can get the skin, the skin of the apple, so it's like a whole apple type of apple pie. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So you're like you get you get the the pulpiness, you get the the, the skin on it and everything and it's just it's it, it turned out really well um I, I was really surprised that that Favora even at that high percentage you know worked out really well yeah jfm jfm still in the in the chat make sure my scales on grams i always mix backwards so <laughs> I, I can't tell it's on zeros so well, whatever let me so uh so let's let's talk about the crust of it uh when you created this crust, were you going for a flaky crust, or you were you going for more of a well, like a graham cracker crust? I don't know. I mean, I don't have a lot of pastry type of flavors, you know. So I had to look at what I got, what I had in the shelf, 
And that was the closest thing to anything I could come up with, on, you know, on a pastry level. You know what I'm saying? So I, I just tried to pick the flavors I had to try to come up with a somewhat of a, a shell. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And so that was the closest thing I could I could come up with in there that would that would kind of give it that shelly taste, you know. Mm-hmm. So I wasn't really going for a flaky or or anything like that. I was just trying to put some kind of shell, some kind of pastry in there. So it's, so I, it's probably, I probably could have used the polo a little bit, you know, and go for the 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 like the hostess the hostess type of crust or the uh, McDonald's apple pie kind of crust because I think those are fried. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, I think they dropped those in a fryer or something. I think everything at McDonald's is fried. It's like a fucking heart attack lunch. <laughs> you know, and that might be something to do on the next take, you know, is add a little add a little Zabola in there and see what happens. I'm interested with the FLV cookie dough one yeah. percent. I can always I, pick that up. I'm assuming you probably put that in there for texture, incorporate it with the biscuit to kind of give it that outer shell. Maybe you threw some graham cracker in there. Mm-hmm. But um, I dude, I, every time I crack open that um I haven't. I have not yet to use that because I've been so um, involved in doing tobaccos um, right now. Um, every time I crack open that um, apple filling from Favora, it just smells so good, and I want to use it so bad, and I haven't got a chance to um, use it. So this is a good, good chance for me to, to, to vape it to see how I, I feel about it. Now, yeah, real quick, hey, um, I'm gonna mute real quick, guys. My stepson's coming home. Yeah, his music. yeah, real quick. Um, speaking of um, flavor concentrates and talking about tobaccos, um, well, I'll talk about that afterwards. Eden Apple, I see you put Eden Apple in there. Man, these fucking caps. Look at this shit. Eh, it's a <laughs> goddamn cap problem with. Uh, yeah. I, I think I think when they first uh, when they first came out with that uh, cookie dough, that was about the time that their cap started fucking up yeah. like that. But That's I, what I, I think added. they've I, I think they've got it worked out now because the the ones that I've gotten from them lately, uh, the caps are not messed up like that. Yeah, that that I've had that one. I think, oh Christ, I think I might have I bought that one when Wayne did his um, RY RY four. What was it? The uh, ob- obsidian. Yeah, I think that's what. I, maybe I might have bought it for that, but I'm I'm not sure. I might even have bought it before that. But um, good yeah. recipe though for you guys out there. Go check out that obsidian recipe from Wayne. It's a good recipe. Yeah, and uh, that that eating that eating apple that's that's in there. That is an awesome apple. We talked a little bit about it uh, last Wednesday. But it, it has just like a it's it's a it's a very complex apple I think it to, to me it it has a little bit a little bit of a pear taste to it and it also has a, a really good mouth feel a really good texture to it um, yeah I um I enjoy it um it's it's kind of like one of those ones where when we talked about it as well, like when we talked about one Wednesday with uh, Black Mamba, mm-hmm. is that it kind of reminds me of like a like a weaker or a substitute or a weaker uh, flavor art uh, Fuji type flavor, in my opinion. Um, it's it's really delicious. I, I enjoy it. Super sweet. How did I just put it in there? The graham cracker. No, I did, put, did I put the graham cracker in there yet? <laughs> Just put double in there. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna do that. I think, <laughs> yeah, I did. I did because I, I remember I, I haven't used it yet, and I the, the safety ring was still on there, so I did use it. Okay, sweetener, half a percent. How dominant is that sweetener in there, Russ? In a half a percent. To be honest, that's probably something else I can drop out of there. That I think that FLV filling has got enough on its own. Yeah. But it, but it, but it, uh, it does add to it. It just makes it, you know, it makes it very commercially. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of like super sweet vapes, but um, when you're using um, apples, you know, that's a tartness, dude. So how about like how close I got on nicotine? This is all I have left out of my 500 mil. I oh, just man. ordered it last week. Yeah, so hopefully I have enough nicotine in there. Let's not over-nick it like I did before. 
5.93. You working on anything, uh, Folkart, besides your um, one that you were talking about? Well, I've got several things that I'm working on. Um, nothing that I'm re really ready to talk much about yet, but other than okay. the milk and I did, I did do a, uh, you know, everybody's got their strawberries and cream. So, uh, I'm doing a, another strawberries and cream. I, I did one last year that, was, Easter. yeah, that was, that was pretty good. This, I'm not a big strawberries fan. I'm, I just, I don't really like strawberry vase, but I know a, a lot of people do. And, uh, so I created this one to be, f to fit me better as, as a vapor. I'm not liking strawberry that much. So it's a, it's a, it's a light strawberry. It's not very top heavy. Um, it's just a very light <laughs> strawberry, strawberries and cream. The cream is, is, is the strawberry sits kind of in the middle of the vape, of the vape instead of just, you know, full strawberry right at the top. So it's it's pretty good. I, I still got to work on it a little bit more, but I've been working on that. I've been, uh, yeah, just doing a flavor testing. Um, yes, I have. Um, good. Let's see if I can bring up some of my notes here. <clears throat> yeah, I've been I've been I tasted that uh, when I did that, the little Facebook Live thing on Saturday yesterday. Mm -hmm. um, I tasted that Cohiba from super concentrates it's available at bull city flavors mm -hmm. um i really enjoyed that flavor um if you guys are like uh we're into cigars when you guys used to smoke um i think it's a really decent mild like type of cuban cigar um i really enjoyed it mm -hmm. uh, pretty good so I, I i did single flavor test uh flavora alpine strawberry and i, I know dave has some opinions on on this flavoring I really enjoyed it. I mixed it up. At, I think it was one, one percent. Uh, no, actually, I mixed it up at two percent, which was probably too high. But it has a. Uh, if if you've ever walked through a strawberry field, and you smell the aroma coming from all the blooms and and the vegetation and stuff from the from the strawberries, that's what it tastes like to me. It's it's like walking through a strawberry field. So it does have, like. Um, like some of the green uh floral or it's it's not really a floral note but it's you you can taste the 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 green leaf like the leaf part or what it smells like that's what you taste and at a low percentage i think i think it would be really good in some recipes um it's i wouldn't use it by itself by no means because it's too floral but i think if you pair it up with a cap cap sweet strawberry or something like that Use it maybe at 025 percent, uh, and and you're looking for more of a uh, a, a floral type of a vape. I think it would work really good. Now Dave says he 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 has a different opinion about it. You want to talk about it? Uh, yeah, I mean, well, first off, one of the first opinions I have about it is the seventeen dollars and fifty cent whatever the hell it is price tag on it. That's, that's true. Just, that's crazy. Um, I mean, I, honestly, I got like a cooling agent from it. Like, that's what I got from it. Like, mm -hmm. a not a WS, like, yeah, I guess like a WS 23 or like a, uh, I mean, I did get like outer leafy type, like, vi like the green parts of the strawberry. Yeah. But mm -hmm. it, it hit me to where I got like almost like a cooling agent from it. And, and I assumed it Alpine, like Alpine or whatever. I'm assuming, okay, well, maybe that's why they call it Alpine because it has like a cooling effect to it. Mm -hmm. But I might be wrong, but that's what my palate picked up. I got like a cooling, like I said, a cooling agent mm -hmm. um, from it. This smells really good. I'm still shaking it. Let me, let me turn this off. Let me get back to my chat. See if anybody got any questions over and chat about it what's to say yo mamba what's that black mamba is he in it yeah he's in the house my man yep. black mamba he joins us wednesdays i'll check him out 7 p.m in the time on wednesdays at b2b back to back to basics yep he had some homework for you wasn't it folk 
Yes, he did. He did. Uh, the teacher became the student. Uh, so I, I ordered the New York, New York from, uh, on, what is it, Ohm Vapes or Ohm something. And uh, I haven't got it yet. So as soon as I get it, I will be doing some tests with it. See what I can come up with. It's uh, it's supposed to be a, like a yogurt vape, a creamy yogurt vape. So we'll, we'll see. I've never vaped it before. But he was wanting me to, to try to come up with a clone or a remix of it. And uh, so I'm going to give oh. it a shot. I'm going to give it a shot. Yeah, I was just thinking, though, speaking of the Apple challenge, um, I was thinking about maybe doing a uh, maybe a rum apple, like maybe a apple cider rum type flavor. Everybody does freaking apple pie mm-hmm. or apple donut or whatever. Mm-hmm. I was thinking maybe incorporating some uh, some alcohol, maybe do some type of drink with with um, with the apple. You know, we got a month, so yeah. We'll see what it is. So, yeah. So make sure you guys, speaking of the Can app, I steal your profile? What's that? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, nothing. No, what? No, I didn't. Even, I, I seriously. No, didn't. nothing. Forget, forget it. Forget it. Go ahead. I got there, buddy. Anyhow, yeah. <laughs> make sure with the Apple Challenge, make sure you check out Noted Live. They are uh, with uh, ML Mill Nikon, ID10, and Chiba. They're on 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Mondays. Check them out. Um, and actually juiced live uh, with Black Mamba um, with on the Steam Rooms channel. Um, Steam Room Black Mamba Labworks Vapes. I'm not sure if um, Labworks is on there every week or not. I know he was on the first one or two episodes, but I know that's on today. After us, it's around 7:30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on yep. Sunday. Yep. Which is t- I don't know if he's going to go live today. I'm sh- I'm sure he probably will. He may or may not. I know there was a few people that actually canceled their shows today because of the Super Bowl. Oh, it's just a Super Bowl. That's what I said. It's just the Patriots. <laughs> I mean, uh, the, the Panthers aren't, aren't playing, so why even watch? God, don't even say that. Because that's what <laughs> dealers, man. So, yeah, this smells. Guys, smells just, really- you, have to, you have to remember this is a worldwide show. Why talk something that only means anything to you guys in the United States? Oh my God! Right. You know American, what? American, American football. American. We football. might. We we probably just lost about half of our subscribers because <laughs> people in the United States are just like insane when it comes to American football. They're nuts. You know what I mean? Millions and millions and millions of revenue. Right. Millions. I just wonder why you call football a sport that is played with your hand, with the hands. They do yeah. kick it every once in a while. Well, it's not like soccer. I mean, that dudes fucking do rides, beat the fuck out of They stab each other and shit, and the stands are crazy <laughs> over there, man. That well, at least, at least they play with, with the feet. Uh, looks like Steam Room is is in the house. Uh, Steam Room, if you're listening, uh, are you doing uh, your show tonight at 7.30? Just posted in the chat there. <clears throat> okay, so uh, Dave, w- what do you think of uh, Russell's apple pie? Hold on. Let me close my air holes up a little bit. Yeah, there was a question. I think it was Aaron Aaron. Um, in the Facebook page today, he asked, uh, what do you guys use when you do single flavor testing, I believe it was? Um, me personally, I don't know about you guys or you here too, but I use the same equipment that I do when I everyday vape. It's either my goon, and now that I use the dead rabbit, it's either one of those two. Um, what about you, folk? I know you use the wasp, I think, right? Uh, actually, I've I've been using my wasp for mainly for squonking. Uh, it just um, it's just more more handy for for me to to use it on the squonk. When I do single flavor test, I do it on uh, this uh, Shinrei Hadley clone. <laughs> it it seems to give me a, a really good accurate um, flavor. It's I mean it's really it's it's really made for flavor. The Wasp Nano is too, but the fact that I have it on my squawks, I, I just I don't use it for single flavor test. Steve, where did you get uh, your drip tip from? Uh, I believe Wonder that I believe that uh, <laughs> was a suggestion by you, 
And I forget where I ordered them from, but they're really, really cool. I, I ordered about six of them. And oh. I, I have them. I have them on several different, several different uh, configurations. Speaking of drip tips, speaking of drip tips, they are great. These drip tips are great. Where, where was it from? Super cheap. Yeah. Where was it from? Fast Tech in China. Yeah, Fast Tech. Beat Slow Tech. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Slow Tech. <laughs> 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 No, it's not going to – no, it's <laughs> – no, Russell. It's good. But, uh, no, speaking of drip tips, you failed to tell us uh, one of our followers is a custom drip tip guy. Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised that none of y'all guys have ever heard of Lead Pop. Lead Pop has uh, – he was one of the first uh, YouTubers on vaping that I ever watched when I first started vaping. And uh, he, he came into our, uh, our Zoom room after the show last Wednesday. I think it was, wasn't it? Last Wednesday. And uh, him and I had talked, you know, online and, and different things over, over the years. And, um, uh, yeah, he, he does some awesome drip tips. That's really what he's known for is his custom-made drip tips. And he's also started to get into making uh, mods, squonks, um, you know, all, all, all kinds of mods that he hand makes. The ones that I saw him make uh, were made out of wood. So uh, if y'all if y'all guys in the chat or something you know need a really nice custom made drip tip or a or a, a box mod of some sort, uh, check him out. He's on YouTube. You just have to you know type in lead pipe. He'll come up and check out his videos too. He's been doing this for a pretty long time. Cool, cool guy, cool guy. I think he's uh, in Pennsylvania, right, Dave? Yeah, I think that I didn't even know that too. Yeah, I'm yeah. gonna drive to his house and yeah, house and shit, dude. yeah, yeah, because there's a couple and things. And his and and his grandfather was Portuguese. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. Lewis, could could you uh could you drop a a link for those uh, drip tips in the chat? Yeah, what surprised oh, me though? I don't he, think I have the link for him. He actually um, makes uh, replacement tanks too, so I'm going to have him make me a, a replacement tank for my BMFT from Vapor Clouds because I cracked both of them. I don't know how, and then I'm going to have him do some custom ones for my um, for my uh, Limitless Plus and Limitless Classic um, tanks are interchangeable for those anyway. But yeah, dude, kick ass. That'll work really nice with my um, my mod from Poly, my DNC mod. I don't know why my camera keeps glitching. It might be the new computer. But getting to your recipe, Russell, it surprised me. I had some tobacco on there. That's why I was I was just trying to burn it off. Very interesting. I am surprised. I never did a single flavor test on apple filling, but when you were saying that the cinnamon's really up front, it's not that bad. Um, with the biscuit being at 0.7 and the Flavora cookie. Now, here's the thing about Flavora cookie on my palate, guys, is that um, I, I always taste Flavora cookie in the recipe. Um, I don't taste it in here. It really adds texture um, with that biscuit and that Flavora cookie together incorporated with the Flavora graham cracker. It really works nice together. Um, now, the apple flavor with the Eden apple both together, it's very good. It's not like... If you was to take, say, for you guys out there in the chat or that are watching right now, if you was to take, like, say, uh, F.A.'s Fuji Apple or TPA Apple, for instance, like how it has, like, a chemical taste that's, like, in your face, like, right after you get it off the scale, um, this apple is very subtle in this mix. It works really well. It's kind of like almost like a mashed filling apple that I'm getting from those two apples together. Works really well. Now, as far as the super sweet from Capella is using it at a half percent, dude, it's not overly sweet in this recipe. Um, it like what surprised me is is the apple wasn't that forward. It's not dull, but it sits right. It's well balanced. Um, I really enjoy it. Um, I get the texture from the biscuit, the cookie dough. Everything works really well, even the graham cracker. Um, I can see this being a, like an all day vape. It, it and and when I think of like an apple cinnamon type flavor, it, it always brings me back to Capella Cinnamon Danish, <laughs> which is so overly powering. 
it like it, I mean, it's a good Capella's cinnamon Danish roll. It's a good concentrate. A lot of people mix with it, but I just vaped it so much. I really can't vape it anymore. Um, <laughs> the only time I can vape it, honestly, is maybe in Sad Lad's uh, uh, Rage Rage's Sad Lad, his cinnamon toast crunch recipe. That's the, probably the only time that I can actually vape that flavor anymore, and I still have a shit ton of it left. But um, as far as the apple, dude, it's it's really good, dude. I, I really enjoy it. I mean, I give it I give it like four and a half, bro. Awesome. It's really well balanced. Um, I'm just hoping with the steep, you don't lose that that um, apple. The apple, the cinnamon's there. It's no, not that, empowering. I'm sorry. Like I don't. That cinnamon I, starts to fade, and that sweetness starts cutting through too. Um, does it? Yeah. Does it? Yeah. That's going to be the shitty part, I think. Um, but it's maybe, really good, though. I mean, even though good. everything's cutting through, but it cut through. It cuts through just right. You know what I'm saying? And and. It's sitting right. I don't. I don't understand it, but it does. It's I mean, really yeah. good right now. Yeah, it's, it's been, good. Off, it's it's a good shaking vape, man. I really enjoy it. Because uh, uh, I'm just hoping that everything doesn't fade in there. I mean, have you guys? Any of you guys mixed it up yet? I haven't, but I'm going to. I don't have all the flavors. I'm pretty. pretty sure, good. I'm pretty sure I have all of them. Check out his recipe, guys. Yep. Yeah. Post the link. Somebody post a link in the chat. I will. Really good. But um, yeah, so hopefully you guys don't get too blowed out tonight from uh, the Super Bowl. Everybody throws parties. Be safe out there. You know, make sure you have a designated driver if you're going to be out there drinking and stuff like that. Um, make sure you check out Back to the Basics B2B live. Folk Art, Black Mamba, myself, Wednesdays at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Make sure you check out Noted Live. That's tomorrow. We got the Apple Challenge this month, guys. So get on those recipes. Get them in. Um, you can post those on our Facebook page. Also, our Discord. Uh, post those up there. We will mix those up if we have all the flavors. Um, yeah, so join uh, Noted tomorrow live. Uh, it's at 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time with ML Nikon, ID10T, and Chiba. Chiba Steba. Check that out. And my man, Steam Room, Black Mamba Lab Works. Today, 7.30 Eastern Standard Time. Check those guys out. New mixers, make sure you join us, join us next week. How are you coming on that clone there, Folk Art, for uh, Black Mamba? I, have, I haven't I have got it in yet, so I haven't even started on it. That's right. My apologies. Yeah. My yeah. apologies. I was in the middle of mixing. My brain doesn't work that well <laughs> when I'm multitasking. But um, what else is we going to talk about? Anything else we got? Uh, Apple Here. challenge, Apple challenge. Uh, our challenge yep, for, Febu uh, for February is uh, u utilizing uh, some apple concentrate uh, for some kind of recipe. Doesn't matter what it is, as long as it's apples. As long as you can say that it's apple, we'll try to mix it up. You got a whole month. So get out there and make them recipes. So, yeah, we're going to be coming into spring after that. So, we got to come up with some springtime recipes, like maybe drinks, utilize some of those. Yeah, yeah maybe some nice mellow fruits. Maybe we'll maybe we'll do something like that. M mellow fruits. Next challenge. Uh, if flowers. you guys. Yeah, flowers, any floral type dates. Make sure you guys, if you have any suggestions for the um, DMC challenge, you can post those up on our Facebook page. Those links are posted in the comments um, on the live show. Um, as well, uh, make sure you guys, you new mixers out there, take advantage of our discount codes that we have through uh, Bull City Flavors, DMC6. You get 6% um, off your total order. You get free shipping, 75 bucks. And make sure you guys check out Liquid Barn. Use code Mixers Crew. Get 15% off your total order, and you get free shipping over 50 bucks. Other than that, guys, that's all I got. Lewis, Folk Art. Russell, excellent job. If you guys got any other comments, we are out. How uh, is, uh, what are we doing? We doing Zoom room after this or no? We wrapping it up for tonight. Uh, I I can't join, but y'all guys can go in if you want to. Yeah, I got. I'm pretty stocked today. I got a lot of stuff going on. Family, not being able to join um, the Zoom room. But feel free, guys. You that's open 24 hours a day. I will post the links. You guys can join in there. Talk mixing for you guys that don't have a partner in mixing. Um, always go in there. Maybe somebody will be in there and you guys can collaborate and come up with some wonderful recipes and post them on our Facebook page or discord. 
Yeah, uh, Matt Williams asked, uh, "How do we enter uh, on the Apple Challenge?" Yeah, just post it in our on our Facebook page. I put the link up there. Just post it there. If you're uh, if you're in our Discord, you can post it under recipes in our Discord channel. So there you go. Okay. That's all I got, guys. Yeah, nice to be with you. See you next week. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. Make sure you guys check out Steam. I'm out. Yep. Peace. Peace. Yeah.